I'm doing kind of a follow-up video on my like Paul Swords Jr. is going downhill video. I'd like to go a little bit further in depth with that why he or how he um, lies to his fans. Because I just found a lot of evidence. I was scrolling through some of his videos lately. I just found tons of more evidence that could prove it right here. So let's look at some of his Vex Inferno Minds videos. Where he plays through, you know, the Vex maps made by that guy. And then, um, some of the later episodes, I remember I was actually following him when he started the series back up. He went to about 12 episodes, I think. Until he totally abandoned it, which was not surprising that he's known to do that. And then, I think it was around 11 months later, he came back to it and he wanted to finish it really bad. So I actually remember when that happened. I was pretty excited for it, too. And so he did, what was it, he went up to 19 episodes, 7 more, until, and he was right about, he was doing pretty good, too. He wanted to get over, he had plans made and everything, what he was going to do, until he abandoned it again. <laughs> Just... Out of nowhere, he was so excited to finish it and get it done after abandoning it for ten, or 11 months in the first place. And then he abandoned it again. He came back to it, abandoned it <laughs> twice in a row. One series never completed. He even said he was kind of mad that he left it uncompleted, but he wanted to get it completed, but he didn't. He did abandon it again. And even him talking in that series. He was talking about getting Man vs. Minecraft Season 6 going. And when that, when he came back to that series, that was in June, May, in June of 2014. And he was talking about getting it going back then. He was really hyped up about it too. And it still hasn't happened. That's been... What's that? uh... over two and a half years almost three, we're just a couple of months away four months away, four or five months away from three years since he's been talking about getting Man vs. Minecraft Season 6 going man perfect example of how he lies to his fans and even another another thing I guess incorporated into that is how he abandons the series even though I wasn't really wanting to talk about it just came up and so he's been talking about that for two and a half almost three years and he still hasn't done it and he was even really hyped up about it too I really don't know why he was he, he's just so hyped up about it and it never happened I mean if I'm hyped up about something I'm gonna make it happen unless there's re restrictions in the way or something but he was so hyped up about it, I don't know why he never made it happen. He just quit it again, just like he lost interest, I guess. I actually said that in one of his recent videos. I commented. And I said, Where is Man vs. Minecraft, Season 6? No response from him, of course. I've actually been doing some calculations on his videos, too. He responds to about a five of every hundred comments, we'll say. And when I did the math, he only replies to about less than 20, maybe 15, 10, maybe even less than that usually, comments per thousand comments. So, if you have a question for him, or you want some, if you comment something to him and you want him to see it really bad, chances are he never will. <laughs> Not even comment on his old videos before I had this account way old videos. It's like an old series that he just abandoned. Or they did this ended and people wanted more of it. I even commented on this saying I wanted more of it and stuff. He's probably never even seen that comments ever. Ever. The ones I wanted him to see the most he's never had. He just never never seen them. If he did I'm sure he would have replied. And he can't say oh I don't have time to reply to all the comments. Like I've said in my other Paul Sarge Jr. is going downhill video he has time. His 
in April, which is a couple months away at the time of this video. We're in January, early January right now. A couple months away, I believe it's in April, April 3rd, I think, is his, his uh, kid, his daughter, or whatever's birthday. I think she's turning 19. If my, if I did all my math right, she should be about 18. And then his youngest son should be turning 16 later this year. So, you can't really say, I don't have time, I have so many kids. The, the oldest girl, the girl's basically gone. She's gone probably within maybe, I don't know, end of the school year when she finishes school. She's probably gone. She'll be shipped out to college. And the oldest one, he is, what, 19, 20 now? Maybe even 21. His other oldest one, a Jumbo Muffin, his name is, they call him. Even though his real name is Travis, I know all the real names too. Jumbo Muffin, his name is Travis. Uh, Remy, the girl's name is, her, her real name is Jill, I think. And then the youngest one, Chief Chirpa, his Minecraft name. His real name is Alex. And since they've said it in some of their past series, um, so you can't say that he has no time. His, the kids are gone. Basically, basically two, almost two of the kids are gone. So having only one kid isn't an excuse to say you got no time to reply to comments. Yeah, there's a lot of them. Do I expect him to reply to all thousand comments or whatever he gets? No. No, just like with all the other huge people on YouTube, they get 10,000 comments or whatever. Do you expect them to reply to everyone? No! But do a good, a really good amount of them. Especially if that's your full-time job. I have no idea if YouTube is Paul Source Jr., if PSA, if that's his full job. I have absolutely no idea. He's never said anything about that. He used to have a computer business. That used to be his job. But now he is getting a good amount of views on every video. That could be his full time job, but he's never said anything about it. Just like he abandons series and never says anything, that's what's happening there. Doesn't say anything. Stuff's probably changing, but he doesn't say anything. So I have no idea if he's doing that for his full time job. But he could be, I guess. And if it, you are doing it for your full time job, that's your job. Just like all these bigger people, Jack, Septic, I. All those bigger people that suck, which I've done videos on too, quite a few of them, the time of this video. Probably more will be coming, by the way, so look forward to that. Them, that's a full-time job too, so they can't really say, I don't got time for it, because if that's your job, do it. Do it, reply to the comments, people want your replies. Has he ever replied to any of my comments? One. I think that I think that was the only one was that family friendly one I posted on there a while ago on that miscreated video. I did another my Paul Sarge Jr. is going down he'll be the whole thing that inspired that was that miscreated video and his reply to my comment. I think that's the only comment he ever replied to me. And have I left plenty more than that? Yeah. I left tons more than that. Such on the old videos. He should just go back in his old videos. And look, if he's got any comments, how many requests has he got to start that series back up? Maybe do a new season of it? He's going to go videos and look. But no, does he? No! No, he never does. Never does any of that. Things people want him to do, he doesn't do. And if he does do it, he doesn't tell people that he's doing it. That's, that's problems with him. That's problems with Paul Soros Jr. So. That's what I'd like to say about him. More examples of how he lies to his fans and some more basically a little bit more ranting about him and his problems and how he should improve, I guess, and how, how what he needs to work better on. So, I just like to talk about that a little bit more. Let people know the truth and stuff. Give people more examples of the truth. So, I think that's about it. I think I covered basically everything that I wanted to. Um, so that's good at least. So I would like to, I did like to get that out there, show people the truth, tell them, give them some more examples 
of where I'm getting my information from, how I can prove this and stuff, because some people can't accept the facts on my videos. They say, well, you can't prove that and stuff. Yeah, I do. I got evidence for everything. Look at the description, too, people. The description basically says it all. So I think I wrote in the description, if you, if you can't accept the facts, then you clearly have some problems and stuff. So, that's all I can say about him. Get that over with, I guess. I think maybe even in the future again, I might have to do a third video on Good Mythical Morning because it, they're just getting worse and worse. I might have to do that. If, if time passes here and they get worse, I will do another video on them. I might do videos on all these people that I'm doing. If they get worse, worse enough to that it's worth using my time to make a video on them and doing the research, I will. It's like Poster Jr. is so bad here, I, I had to do another video on him to get this out there and tell people the truth. But So thanks for watching. There's some more examples for Poster Jr. for ya. I think I went over everything, so expect some more videos coming soon. I got a plenty of them coming up. Plenty of them more. So expect lots of uploads. And remember, I don't have much time to upload. I really, I'm so busy with all my jobs and crap that I'm stuck at all day long. So I really don't have much time to upload. I, I barely get time to record. Like these videos aren't terribly long. I don't have time to sit here and record 20 videos in a row. Like some people do. The bigger crappy YouTubers that I've done videos on, many of them. I don't have that time, so. That's why I can't really get these videos up daily. I like to put them up daily, but I don't have time.